All right, welcome back everyone to Plant-Based Kidney Health. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. My partner is Michelle Krosmer. So Michelle, we have been answering lots of questions and today's question is, can someone who has chronic kidney disease but not necessarily have a potassium restriction yet, can they eat like just any normal person can? <laughs> so uh, a couple of ways to answer this or, or approach this. So I think, and I think the main thing they're asking is like, if I don't, if I have kidney disease, I don't have a potassium restriction. Do I, can I eat as much potassium as I want? Do I have to restrict that? Um, and so it, it kind of depends. So I would say, first of all, if someone is, um, you know, in early stages of kidney disease, and especially if their blood potassium levels are normal, they're always normal. They never have issues with hyperkalemia, then they don't have a potassium restriction and getting enough potassium in their diet is actually going to be helpful for them and is going to um, help control their blood pressure and help them include, you know, more fiber and more of these whole plant-based foods in their diet that oftentimes can be higher in potassium. Um, it's important to know that like, the general recommendation is for people to have around 4,700 milligrams of potassium. So again, if someone has no potassium restriction, they can likely eat around that amount. Um, one thing that is important to remember is most, you know, people following kind of that standard American diet or typical um, Western diet are not getting, you know, even close to that 4,700 milligrams that's recommended for the general population. So just because you don't have a potassium restriction doesn't mean you're suddenly eating like 4,000, 5,000 milligrams. Um, but you you don't have that restriction that other people do. What I would say to be cautious of is, is, is two things. One is that one later stages of kidney disease, it becomes more difficult, especially when that GFR is below 30 to control blood potassium levels. It doesn't mean that you are stage four and all of a sudden you have to restrict potassium. You still want it to be dependent on your blood work. Um, but if someone's on medication that raises their blood potassium levels or they're struggling, they sometimes have high levels. That's where you would want to be careful and you wouldn't want to be eating like a, you know, quote unquote, normal person potassium wise. And the other thing too, and what I've seen usually where people run into problems when they're like, okay, I have no potassium restriction. I'm going crazy as they eat very high potassium foods in very large quantities and, uh, you know, quantities that are not very regular and they're doing it a lot throughout the day. So I had a client that was having, you know, three, four sweet potatoes a day. And then, you know, and having all of these very high potassium foods and she, you know, she struggled with high potassium. So I think that's important. Again, you want to, you want a good variety of foods, but if you have kidney disease, you know, you have no potassium restriction um, because you have reviewed your labs, you talked with your physician, you talked with your dietitian, then technically, yes, you can um, eat like a normal person and not have to restrict your potassium and include more of those foods that are higher potassium in your diet. So there you have it, guys. Um, leave your questions for us and we'll see you next time.